<laughs> hey, my name's Penn. Hey, Kent. Rebecca. Adam. Jesse. Tom. This episode is Butopia. First broadcast. Uh, I don't know. Do <laughs> <laughs> you need the date of when it was? They do yeah, that. They do that on Sun Commentary. Adam, take like, a guess. What if you're right? That'd be pretty cool. I don't even know. You, you, take a guess. This aired. I'm Just serious. April 12th, 2011. I don't know. Is it that long? This is the return of a popular hey, character. What coffee do you want? Oh, was this Jake? The, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jake. Jake's Jake, Finn, Teapot. Her name was Zola. And then I would be like, hey! Susan Zola, Strong, that's, that's, that's who Ken is talking hey, about. Zola. That's the ticket. She didn't make her appearance the way many characters make their appearance on the show. By bursting through a wall. <laughs> Susan Strong! Another Jackie Buscarino voice. She can talk a little more now, Susan Strong. Yeah. Yeah, a little better. Excuse yeah, we wanted to have it realistic. She would have gained some language. I think we talked about the origin of Susan Strong in the last one, so we don't have to do it again. What? No. She's crazy, man. Where did she come from? <laughs> Sorry. You don't know that. She came from an online game, and she, she was Penn's alter ego. Yeah. Wait a second. Um, is she human? I forget. Uh, good question. <laughs> you forget? <laughs> There's that big smile on Jesse's face. Again. <laughs> He's like the voice of the audience. He's asking the questions that we refuse to answer. What can we do? Is she Finn's sister? I can't remember that either. I want to know why she's so tan. Or maybe she lives underground. <laughs> Is she tan? Yeah, she's like t more tan than Finn, somehow. I worked really hard on that. Yeah, that was a good that camera move. Camera yeah, move. yeah, that was a really nice animated camera move, which are hard to pull off sometimes. It's a mutation, man. Her skin's <laughs> boiling underground or something weird. <laughs> <laughs> boiling? <laughs> yeah. Long ago, lichen? She's got tanning lichen. In Butopia. But driven out by love. Cycle was okay. <laughs> <laughs> this why we yeah. need your human I think Susan's hard to bring back because it invites those questions humans. that are kind of too too uh, lore based. When are they gonna smooch? <laughs> those, oh, that's that's not, not the question. Kind of question. No, that's. <laughs> Uh, there's this really cool scene where she shoves his Finn's head underwater that Rebecca really posed out. No, you don't understand. And he's like sucking in, and you can see him inhaling through his hat, and it looks really desperate. It's very upsetting. And here it comes. Yeah, it gets all twisted around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember in the original board too, the, her hand was huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be careful. You don't know any better. Frankenstein. Ooh. Nick's caustics. Ooh, yeah. Skills. Light effects. That word comes up a lot in breakdowns. You want to throw some caustics on that? Wait, what's a caustic? There it is right there. I like the oh, reflective, reflective light. light. Yeah, that rippling. <laughs> How do you spell it? Uh, I'm going to guess C-A-U-S-T-I-C, -S but that could be wrong. Ken, did you write this song? I, I wrote this I song. I did not write this song. I wrote this song. We were... We were we were joking it up. We were adding jokes. <laughs> so Jake does have just a lot of like one-liners, uh, where his head turns into a dolphin, and then, yeah, that song. Yep. Threw that in. I like it. I love it. <laughs> did we work with Michael DeForge on? Oh, a lot that's of right. Art for this. Yeah, this was one of the first episodes he did anything for, and we really liked his work. And just, we haven't done this a lot, but. I just wanted to get some concepts for this episode because this was an entirely different world and it could be completely different. But so he did a lot of concepts for the love clubs and all the cave stuff. Yeah, one of these backgrounds is very DeForgey. Yeah, coming up, I think, right? And he's worked on the show ever since. He's a brilliant comics artist. He's safe now. In addition. <laughs> He's Canadian too. A lot of Canadian people work on Adventure Time. Yeah, FYI. There's a tradition of cartooning up there. I think this gag that's coming up, Penn, you actually solicited this on a popular media site. You wanted to know what to have his head turn into. Could I list a bunch of options and then the, the media users the media selected the uh, clams? 
maybe? I know I, I shop put in a little Venus in there at, at some point after hey, you hear that too? added it right, I think. I don't remember. It's fog I war. think I, I thought I'd put that in. You think you did remember. everything, don't you? No, man. <laughs> I remember things. I didn't come up with it. I think it, maybe I helped. Gates. Maybe. Oh, this is where the, uh... I remember thinking, not to be a downer, but I remember seeing you pitch this part and thinking that those stones moved a lot more, like, epically and slower than... No, no, that's from, like, the Clashing Rocks from, uh... It's not scary if they move super slow. Well, actually... I don't know, I just imagined more walk. I don't know. <laughs> oh, more displacement? Yeah, that'd, yeah. Be, that'd have been cool. Smash! <laughs> smash! 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 I think the episode has sound effects. Still got some just not the version we're watching. We should oh, just, maybe for one whole episode, we should just put words and sound effects in ourselves. <laughs> Yo, my name's Finn! <laughs> hey, you... Look at those legs, Susan. <laughs> I'm Susan Strong. I've yeah. got legs. <laughs> if, we, if we all talk at once, it'll be funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get those shoes? <laughs> what do you see? That looks like my father. What about this board? Oh, I remember this joke. This joke confused my parents. Which one? Uh, what, what he sees in the image that he sees. Looks like my mother. Yeah. Isn't that like a classic sort of Freudian goof? Yeah, that, just that you see your mother and everything. I think they thought, oh, well, Jake, because he is can turn into shapes, so maybe like <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. That's a complicated joke. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a it's Defor G. Yeah. Yeah. Defor yeah, that was pulled almost directly from this piece of concept I already did. Uh, I was really happy. That mostly stayed in. A nice reflection there too with, the, with them in the water. A nice tableau. <laughs> Not a lot of cosmetics, though. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have it all. <laughs> I'm told. Whoa. Ominous. We'll be all's good once bring red flowers. What is Susan holding Finn and Jake up off the ground? <laughs> I think I was looking it's unavoidable. at unavoidable. Yeah. Yeah, well, part of it was scale. Get them into the shot with her? Well, and I think it was either Sanvalai or Rebecca. We just have characters just making contact a lot and I, I like that idea of them just mm -hmm. not just being talking heads next to each other like interacting with each other mm -hmm. when they didn't need to so somebody jumps on somebody's head somebody picks them up like a football for no reason I think it's really interesting in animation just how if characters touch they go from getting to be two separate drawings they, they now must be one drawing that's romantic to me like because you can have them on different layers doing different things but once they connect they're basically one character as far as animating them is concerned mm -hmm. metaphorically I think that's beautiful that is inside baseball but that's cool sorry <laughs> that's no that's good stuff that's gold nuggets for the layman and for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. We're learning. You know, whenever I think about making something good, I, my first thought is always of Sonvilai's, like, face-touching drawings. <laughs> uh, yeah, it brings it to a whole nother level, I think. What kind of moves outside of, like, cliche expressions, like just raising your hand to accent a word, he kind of pushes it beyond that to whatever strange place he needs it to be. Susan, we need you. Come on, Susan, stop those those very still love gloves. <laughs> <laughs> They're barely moving. You can <laughs> you can get them, Susan. Come on, just turn around. All right, you got four of them. <laughs> Listen, you run out of time to pose things, and so all these drawings have to be there. If you do a crowd shot, it's a nightmare both for the storyboard artist and the animator who has to animate it because you know. It's not like you get a ton of extra time to do this. Buzzkill. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> uh, Cole Sanchez did a joke uh, coming up where Jake throws the lantern into the thing and he counts to three. And uh, I always remember this joke being pretty funny. <laughs> Comes. Get ready for a joke. One, two. <laughs> uh. Oh, so I just toss in here? Pretty straightforward. Okay, that well, was here good. I go. 
One. <laughs> it does take a long time. <laughs> we had to stretch it out. I don't think that's why. I think it was just a place for a joke. It was a little bit of both. Two birds, one stone. That makes it sound like nothing got cut out of this episode. Mm -hmm. Fire. Man's eternal enemy, Jeez. friend. It also raises the stakes of that scene, too. Yeah. Uh, waiting. Tension. Yeah. Come on, Jake, just throw it. <laughs> Remember it. At one time, we, or at least I, had had, had dreams of seeing right, this, this place, place start functioning great. again, and it can sort of generate well, food. It was like an underground, uh, you, you know, like haven no, for, for people after the oh, apocalypse. Uh, that You don't see that, but one of the thoughts was that because it would be making all this food, he would leave with all these soft pretzels. And he still has the soft pretzels yeah. at the end. It doesn't really <laughs> mean... Well, I mean, visually, it just looks like a mall. Yeah. Like it's like this underground mall. Because that's satire. Yes. So wait, is she human? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Finn knows, and it doesn't matter if we know. Because does Finn... he know? He knows? Yes, because okay. he reached yeah. under he her thought... hat. Yeah, but there could be another part of her body. That... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Um. Like her back or something. <laughs> so she's just got her gills on her back? Like under her shoulder blade. Well, that would be another episode. Where yes. Maybe nobody knows. We're not literally, literally nobody. That's all, I, I, that's all I really wanted to do. That's a good question, Jesse. You should put that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll pull the internet and see what they, what they think. Yeah.